what up what up so you guys we got a cool one in front of us and uh appreciate you guys always all the questions man you guys keep me sharp you make me better at my job and for that i thank you and uh, i've had a lot of requests for like working on edges on die cuts so leave it up to me man <laughs> i'm not gonna get an easy one to work on i'm gonna get some crazy the die cut of all die cuts so we got a super cool ex2000 griffey jr cut above and it's a look it's good from far but it's not super far from good. It just has some stuff. So like, I'm gonna do this video, you guys, in two parts because it's gonna be a lot of wash, rinse, repeat, meaning every edge or every tip of the buzz saw is dinged. So I think that this card honestly will like, it could take me a couple hours because, uh, let me get this on here for you. Every one of the, let me turn on another light. I want to show you guys. Okay. So almost every one of the teeth on here is dinged up. See? And some of them are severe. So this one, you guys wouldn't make a good live because it would be like forever. It would take a super long time. So there we go. That's what I'm trying to show you. So there, there, that one's real gnarly. There. All of the bottoms. I don't even need to take it out of the penny sleeve. See that, that, that. So I'm going to demonstrate on a few of them, you guys, and I'm going to just stop the video. We'll do part one. I'm going to try to bust out all of these and then we'll pick it up and do part two. So like, that's what I'm going after. Such a sweet, sweet card. And um, hopefully we can just improve the appearance. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to work on all of these. So I'm going to work on a couple of them right now to show you guys the technique. Then I'll take a break. I'll work on it for a while, I'm sure. And then not much I can do with that you guys there's a little piece of paper missing if you see I I think I personally think die cuts are cool I've always liked them especially when it's a monster like this so just let me give you the technique you guys I'm just gonna put this back in the penny sleeve and I want to be very careful so I'm picking it up I don't want to catch any more of these edges by trying to look slick and doing it in front of the camera so I got it back in the penny sleeve and I'm going to be doing a lot of the technique where I'm just using the corner tool to work these down a little bit. And the most severe part, you guys, well, let me give you a whole assessment so you know what we're doing. The front has a few lines on it, as you guys can see up here. It's a 20 some year old card, so it just has that normal film. We'll be able to clean it up. That ain't going to be a problem. This thing's going to shine. It's going to look sweet. And then the back's just cloudy. This needs a good shine. We'll get it looking great. But let me show you guys the technique of going after something like this. When working on fixing something like this on a die cut, you want to work on both sides evenly. So if it's like wonky, you're going to meet in the middle and it's going to look good. So I'm going to start with the one closest to me. I'm going to start with this. And before I... You know, sometimes you guys will see me use my straw. I use it a lot because it helps. It just, especially being able to get humidity like around a little bit of these teeth, it's gonna it's gonna do the job. But I just want to see how delicate this card is because sometimes you can push them back into place without a whole lot of a whole lot of extra stuff. Kind of. I'm just going to use a good old trusty McDonald's straw, you guys. I'm going to be doing this probably all night. But absolutely worth it because uh, this thing's awesome. I'm holding the, the corner tool like this, you guys, and I'm literally just... 
acting like I'm painting this corner. Just smooth brush strokes. I don't want to go back and forth or anything like that. I just want to do smooth brush strokes. Okay. I was riding the top edge of the of the saw like that. And now for the inside of it, I'm going to push towards it a little bit because I can see there's a little flare up right there. Well, for one shot, see what I did, you guys, with that one already? That's what I'm going to do with every single one of them. So let's just do another one while we got on camera. That one worked pretty quick. This one's gnarly, the one with the uh, missing paper. So I'm going to just work on that one next, and I think you guys will get the technique. This is just my version, you guys, of using hot breath on cards uh, to do a few more things and just wipe smudges off the surface. A little humidity on an old dry card will loosen it up just a little bit where you can get it to be a little more forgiving and kind of push back into place. And being that it's just your breath, you're not going to damage the card by any means. And even if we get a little bit of like residue or dry breath on the front of it, we're going to give the card a polish, so... Who cares? Don't be like flipping it over and trying to wipe it down every two minutes. You're just going to be touching it too much. Okay. So now I got the top edge smooth. The pain in the butt part are these little teeth. So now I'm just going to kind of just gently massage that way. I'll hold the humidity in there for a second, trap it. And I'm just doing little taps on that edge just to, I try to work on the problem area, but it all connects. So I'm just going to kind of just keep an equal amount of pressure on the trouble area and then ride that edge down, you guys, just so you don't get like a divot. Okay. So that's going to be the technique on this one. And I'll show you just a quick, so you got the. You know, the paper is missing right there. But as you guys can see, I'm already getting that to work out. And I might be able to get that line to go away. But there, I'm, I'm going to have to get some paper off these edges, as you guys see. There's some paper. But the one I did work on right there, this one looks good. I'm not going to mess with that one anymore. This one probably needs a little touch in there. And then I will uh, keep on and going on this. So I won't make you guys watch this one too long. I'm just going to try to finish what I started with this little one over here. And then I'll pick it back up with part two after I get all this down. So die cuts, guys, are notorious for catching an edge somewhere. That just happens. And when these cards came out, I know they were still SP and premium, but I'm sure that back in the day, some lucky kid pulled this and threw it in the threw it in the box, or you know, in a in some sort of case, and kind of let it take a couple hits. That kid wasn't me. I was never lucky enough to pull cool stuff like this. Or I just had to go trading or searching or buying, I guess. I'm just holding you guys that edge right down right now. And that's how you do it. So you just keep on working on them like that, you guys, and you'll get them back to being sharp. 
So part one, that's what I'm going to do. This is going to take me a while. I'm meticulous when it comes to this stuff and I don't rush through it. So stay tuned. We're going to do our best on all of these. You know what I want to do, guys? Hold on. Before I say uh, I'm going to jet, I'm not going to go yet. I want to do a top one for you so you guys can see what it looks like on top of the foil. So see that one? Let's work on top. I showed you the back. I just want to get my trusty paint sleeves down because I don't like putting... I'm working on glass because I need the reinforcement, but I um, don't want the card rubbing on the glass table. The card surface is plastic, of course. That's what the clear coat is made out of, so when you put it on clear... When you put it on plastic, you won't scratch it. Sometimes the ones on the surface, like the top layer, are a little bit easier to work on than the back side. This one, the back side, looks like they got bent from that side, so they're a little bit more creased. Now you guys, I'm just like sh shoveling it. I'm pushing, I want to push this ding out. Um, I don't want to smash it down. I want to kind of like roll it to the edge and out. It just seems to work that way with the, these types of dings on cards. So look at that. Sweet, right? Still there a touch, but cool. That's how you do it. All right, so this is going to take me a bit, so I promise to report back. Wish me luck, and uh, I appreciate you watching, guys. Update on this one real soon. I'm Kurt with Kurt's Card Care. See you soon.